Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This video is going to be about projects that I'm going to be pro producing this year and for the coming years. So let's get started. We're going to start off with Plushy Empires. While I don't have many Plushy Empires episodes planned, do expect some Plushy Empires this year. However, I'm going to be brutally honest with you here. I have a love-hate relationship with this series. I do enjoy this series because it's fun and allows me to put some plushy ideas into use. But there's one major aspect which holds it down for me. And that is... Snorlax. That sounds really surprising, but I really don't like Snorlax in this. He cut... Like, think of it from the editor's perspective. Most of the time... You have to put up with this blue guy for most of the screen. And over time, he just becomes less and less like an intimidating villain. And more and more like an obnoxious, like an obnoxious twat. You wanna buy me? You wanna buy me? So I figured I'd focus my next Big Plushy Empires project on a different cast. And that cast is the Rebellions. If there's one thing I'm really not proud of, it's how I just forced the rebellions in. I legit just threw them in, no backstory. I just don't like how I did that. So, the next big plushy empires project will be a backstory on these guys. And for the biggest reason, to answer the question, why are they rebellions? Because they just appear in episode 5 out of nowhere, like I said before, and we know nothing about them beforehand. So I figured doing this will make a lot more sense than just skipping straight to episode 6, in my opinion. There is no permanent title as I'm recording this, but I do have a progress title. Right now it's called On The Run, but I might change it. I was originally thinking about calling it The Resistance, but I figured that would be a little bit too similar to other projects. So I changed it. I might change it back to that, might not. The, it's still in early progress. I've only filmed like one scene of it so far. And I'm editing that scene as we speak. While on the opposite side of the spectrum, I don't have much home adventures planned. The space which I used to record it is currently being used as storage. And I'm I've actually been struggling with some story ideas. So, I have a few which I might tell, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Some of these stories were previously going to be in other seasons, but were cancelled. Some were just new ideas, but we'll just have to wait and see what Home Adventures has in store for us, if I can get off my ass and finish some of the stuff. In 2022, I set myself a goal that if I didn't post anything that was big, I would at least post a music video to keep people occupied. And I still plan on doing that this year. So if there's nothing big planned, then expect a music video. What I'm saying is, even if there's going to be nothing produced that year, at least expect a music video. I'll at least try and get one of those out if I can. One thing I was working on last year was a big review containing two sets and three talking engines. I wasn't able to get it out that year because, you know, it was fucking huge. It was like an hour long video. I don't think I'll produce it in its one hour form. I'll probably do a shrunken down version of it. But do expect this video in some way, shape or form this year. As I spent a lot of time on it. Yeah. Expect this big video. Mm -hmm. One big thing which I do plan on working on is a fan-made Cars movie called Murray Clutchburn's Upgrade. This was actually a video idea I had back in 2018, but I never published. It was about Murray Clutchburn losing races and then upgrading to Sheldon Shifter. However, I don't feel like that works. I decided to do something with this. Considering I now have the Cars 1 and Cars 3 Murray Clutchburn, I figured, hey, why not redo this? But instead of having him turn into the next gen, have the Cars 1 Murray turn into the Cars 3 Murray. 
it makes a lot of sense that way. So expect my clutch bones upgrade some either mid to late this year, depends if I can finish it on time with all the other projects. However, the number one thing I really want to work on this year is my car's parody, Engines. This has been sitting on the back burner for so long now, and I recently got part 5 out after nearly a year on hiatus. I am not joking. So I'm going to try and get at least 5 parts done. Again, depends if I can get other stuff done as well. It really depends on time. Time is my real enemy here. As I'm recording this little part, part 6 is partly finished. I just need to record the final few scenes and then it'll be ready for publication. Hopefully. Okay, so what about other stuff that's not related to these series? Well, there's a part 2 of Snorlax's cooking show coming and it's stupider than the last. I'm just working on how to put more stupid jokes in it, but I feel like I'm running out of stupid jokes to put in it. However, that's not the only thing that's coming. There's also going to be custom spotlights. I've been working on a lot of custom stuff recently, so I do plan on making custom spotlights. One series which I finally got off the ground last year was my review series, Yoshi Reviews. Basically, this is a review, like a review series where I take something like Cars on the Road, for, for, that was my first episode, and then I see what worked with it, what didn't work, and everything in between. Yeah, this is basically just a review series. I do plan on releasing this quite constantly this year. So aside from engines, expect this to be the most common thing you'd find on my channel this year. I've already delved into the world of cars, so I don't really want to talk about that one for the next subject. Thomas would seem like the next logical step, but I'm deciding to go somewhere different. And what is that thing? Well, this. I'll discuss my reason for this when we get to the 6th anniversary video. Speaking of which, it soon won't be long before I've reached half a decade making videos. First of all, I need a life. Second of all, I plan on making a video discussing where I've come from my channel, where I got my initial idea to do it, and what I've done since then. And that will be it, along with a little montage at the end. That will be coming out on February the 3rd. Hope you stay tuned. But probably my most biggest project which I'm doing is an origin story for Yoshi. I'm making this origin story for the exact reason why, I make, why I'm making the Rebellion's backstory in Plushy Empires. Yoshi, I just feel like, didn't have enough character. I had a better idea what I was doing with Max, and he was supposed to be the secondary character. So I basically am just working on a small origin story. This will tie in with the Yoshi Station's timeline, so there will be some stuff which will be canon from this movie in the ca in the timeline. So I hope you stay tuned for that. That will definitely not be coming out this year. That will be coming out either, I want to say, 2024 or 2025. I really need to work on this because I want to make this the best I can. Probably the biggest video that Yoshi Station has ever had. So what's coming out this year in 2023? Well, I've obviously told you it's not the origin story, but I can tell you that at least these three things will be coming out this year. They are Snorlax's cooking show, my first edition of character spotlights, and the Yoshi reviews. Videos which might come out this year are Murray Clutchburn's upgrade and Plushy Empire's on the run. These ones might come but they might get postponed until 2024. And obviously the origin story I've stated is not coming out until like 2024, 2025, probably 2025. And then endings will just be ongoing. As well as Hornby Adventures and the rest of Plushy Empires. And that's everything coming to Yoshi Station. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the 6th anniversary video.